7, Western Australia, 8 8 56. A vital 10 minutes coming up. Victoria to the right, with the advantage of any breeze there is. Richardson trying to get it out. Held to him, says the umpire. Centenary year of football here in Western Australia, and South Australia have already uh, spoilt one day of it earlier. <laughs> What's going to happen the rest of the day? Yes. Persa to Blackwell. Down it goes to Harford. Glenn Denning thumps it on, looking for the backup. Oh, oh, oh. oh he's pulled the game up. No, it's a free kick. He's got to pay that as a throw, is he? Yes. Out to Barham. Ricky Barham, right centre wing. Puts it up further to Tui. A high kick to half forward, looking for Merritt. He's got the set. Can't get the mark, but he's got the ball. Over to Brereton, who's just inside the line. And now the ball's gone out. Yes, ball out of bounds. Forward of Victoria's right centre wing. I thought that knock on from Glenn Denning was a legitimate move. Umpire saw differently. Purser in front, got the tap down. Trying to come through Glenn Denning. That's Blackwell on the bottom of it. No one to give it to. Now he finds one in John Anir. Anir has got time to have the kick. It's not a particularly good one. And Glenn Denning has come back to the back line by the look of it. And it'll be Richard Osmond to bring the ball back into play for Victoria. He's just backward at right centre wing for the Vicks. Nice kick to half forward. Dermot Brereton sets and marks. Good one. He's a good flyer, this fellow. Hasn't had too many today, but when he gets his hands on it. Brereton goes in towards uh, half forward, and Wallace leads in the race and marks well. They're feeding back into their forward line brilliantly, Victoria, and the West Australian midfield players aren't going down with them. So Wallace from 48 metres out, directly in front. Kick looks pretty good, it is. And Victoria get a breathing space with their 12th. He's a handy player, this fellow. He plays in the centre, he plays in the half forward flank. That's his second goal. Picking up the crumbs in the forward area. Reading the play tremendously well as a Footscray centre line player. And there it is, 12 11 83, Victoria, West Australia, 88 56. Only just over the two minute mark, so plenty of time for Western Australia if they're good enough. Andrew Purser is still on the ball where he's been most of the day against Kevin Walsh. Purser gets it down, but it's picked up by the reliable Reigns. Out it comes to half forward. Waitman traps it. But he's done most of the day. Plenty of time. To Royal, he's trapped by Cracker. Play on, he's trapped again. Got it away, says the umpire. Barham, 40 metres out, Ricky Barham steadies and kicks the ball out of play. So it's out of bounds. In Victoria's right full forward pocket. You've got to earn your free kicks out there, John. You sure do, Bob. Indeed you do. Well, the Allen side bottom to bring it back into play for WA. And they trail at the moment 12 11, 83 to 88 56, and we're three and a half minutes in. Final quarter. Raritan got it out to Barham. Barham in turn to Buse. Buse's left foot kick is offline. One behind the result. One good thing about the Vicks, if one player's in trouble, he's always got a backup going past. Plenty of alternatives they have. Side bottom. At full back looking after Madden goes down the centre. Not a lot of height there for WA. Bacanara has the ball knocked away from him. Blackwell comes through. Leon Baker and he get mixed up together. No talking. And that allows Timmy Watson to tighten things up for the Vicks. Tom Alvin has gone down with cramp. But it won't keep him out of the play too long, I shouldn't think. Only about 18 players around the ball and three trainers. They're all out to Alvin. Purser got the tap down. Holden tries to come through, but that's Blackwell's kick to half forward. Behind they are the West Australian forwards, and Ruse takes yet another strong mark. Paul Ruse sees the lead further field to Royal. Oh, the backup, beautiful from Tui. The backman having a shot at the goal. He's put it out of play. Bernard Tui backed himself right up there from centre half forward from the back line and Alan side bottom will kick it in. West Australia are lucky that Victoria's uh, accurate kicking has deserted them. The last three shots have been out on the full, out on the full and are behind. Well, look at the jostling going on. Blackwell's trying to do it all on his own. Walsh is winning. Blackwell's still battling. Three Victorians bounce down on the half forward flank. 
So between Victoria's right centre wing, right half forward, 84 plays, 56, five minutes into the final quarter. Walsh, high, Blackwell battling. 13 is Andrew Hughes for Victoria. Bit a good lead, Kevin Moss. Bursa, whose ruck almost unchanged the whole game. Tap, but only as far as Hughes. Hughes to Reigns. Reigns to the 50 metre line. Dermot Brerett behind. That's Harvey, number nine. He goes to the 25 metre line. Merritt's underneath that. Thumped away from him by Western Australia's Glenn Denning. Glenn Denning now playing in defence. Which robs our forward line Jim somewhat. Sewell, I think it's going to center center. Half forward. Just outside Victoria's 25 metre mark. Yeah. Beautiful tap down at Dermot Brereton. He was pushed off the kick when he went for it and has put it across the face in the left full forward pocket. 88.56 to 12.12.84, six minutes into the final quarter. Well. Side bottom and uh, Madden were battling, jostling there for position, but Madden is going to get the kick. Went off the ground for quite a while. Simon Madden, Victoria's top ruckman. There it is. Have a look at the jostle. Couldn't see that. Both in it, but Madden's got the kick. 30 metres out, Simon Madden. Has the shot. Has put it through for four points to the mix. The human nose points down while nasal drops have to go up, but now there's Sinex in a metered pump. It delivers an accurately measured dose that clears nasal congestion for up to 10 hours. So try Sinex and get back on your feet. These powerful new Hoover suction cleaners make light work of even the heaviest housework. Smashing. That's why Hoover is ahead of the rest. It was an excellent bit of play. Here's the score. And that is at the seven minute mark of the final quarter. Walsh again leaps high, brilliantly taken by Brian Royal. Royal's kick to the 25 metre line, side bottom, paid the mark. Gonna come back. Side bottom has got a near available. It's a dangerous kick. If they're quick enough, it'll be okay. This is Lester Smith. No back up for him, he's got to go backwards. Lost about 15 metres then in that little exchange. This is Richardson. Long hand pass to Blackwell. Blackwell goes inboard to Ania. Ania to half forward. Sewell in front. Can't mark. Backs up well. Tries to tap it on. Can't. Purser. With him is Tui. Purser to Mitchell. Mitchell a short pass to Bacanara. Got a clip in the year to go on with. Uh, pretty well today, taking many marks around the ground. That was a good pass from Mitchell. It's his 10th mark and he's coming up for his 14th kick. Bacanara, gee, not a lot on offer. He's going to have to go for some distance. To the edge of the square. Up goes Browning. Ball to play on. 15 is Blackwell. Five for Victoria is Ricky Barr. And it's just outside WA's 25 metre line. And at the eight minute mark, WA would be hoping to score. Keep in range of the big books as it comes out towards the flank. Out of bounds. Wayne Blackman praying to God he was going to get the kick, but he's not going to get it. And a throw in about 30 metres around from the West Australian goal. Blackwell suggesting that maybe the umpire doesn't know what he's talking about. Kevin Walsh getting a thump down again. There's another chance for Blackwell. He puts it towards goals. Won't make the distance. Once more, I'm a score. So Gary Pert to bring the ball back into play for Victoria. 8 9 57 to 13 12 90. Nine and a bit minutes in. That's Watson. And pass to Walsh. Well, they draw it good. Walsh done it superbly. Royal. Now to Alvin. Tom Alvin into the forward line. A raking kick. Merritt. Oh, what a pass. Side bottom. Didn't have a clue. Well, Matt it is. Matt the player on the receiving end of that kick from Alvin. Doesn't the matter. They're both big boats. You can take marks up there. Matt scored Victoria's last goal. This from 30 metres out directly in front. 
That's another goal to Victoria, and they're doing it well at the 10 minute mark. Simon Madden spent some time off the field on the bench, could have been injured. He's been a great player. This is his eighth state game, and he's played 233 league games. So he's been a very good player for his club. Tom Alvin covered a lot of ground today, the fellow. Played position well. Simon Madden and no trouble at all in putting it through. 14 troll, Victoria 96. There it is, 8 9 57 Western Australia. What can the black and gold do in the next 15 minutes? 11 minute mark coming up. Purser on the ball against Walsh. It's used to rucking all day, Andrew Purser. And he gets the thump. It's a high kick to half forward. Walsh it was. Wallace, I should say. Up to the half forward flank. Brereton to Waitman. Buse running in from 30 metres out. Steadies Andrew Buse and puts it right through the middle. Morning start. Seven. Brad Hardy warming up to come on. And if he's not injured, one begs the question. Where has he been for most of the game? Oh. And again, strong mark to Paul Roos. In a tower of strength at centre half back. Kicks effectively to the far side of the ground. Versus oh. Mark, not paid. This is Ania looking for Bacchanara or Mitchell. Mitchell overruns. This allows Alvin in. The hand passing brilliantly, Victoria, as they work the ball back into their forward line. Ken Hunter underneath it. Can't mark. Osborne caught. Wallace. Plenty of alternatives for the Vicks. This is Madden and Sidebottom. And Sidebottom did well to keep it away from he and Harvey. Brad Hardy is on the ground for WA. Ball on Victoria's right half forward flank. Yes, WA won as many legs as they can get out there at the moment. Oh, Madden jumps in front, gets it down. Glenn Dinning trying to break through, another bounce down. 13 minute mark coming up, 102 to 57, in favour of Victoria. We played a good class of football here since quarter time. Madden gets it over the top. Ania. Richardson on the ground, picked up by Harvey. Has a putt shot, and once more a throw in, half forward flank. We're now at the 13 and a half minute mark. Victoria are 15 12 102. Western Australia 8 9 57. Merritt got the knock that time in the direction of Harvey. Harvey's high kick has gone up and down without gaining any meter rich. Oh dear. Some sort of error is that. Matten hooks it back. This could be costly. Waitman waits down. Gets oh, the hand well pass to Barham. Class stuff, Victoria. And Ricky Barham scores. Great uh, teamwork there in that last line of defence there against Western Australia. Ricky Barham. There's Waitman. He's kicked for himself. Saw he was trapped. Left hand of the ball and Ricky Barham appreciated playing in the forward line. No trouble at all. That was Dale Waitman's 17th effective hand pass. Takes some stopping. Ricky Barham coming off the ground, Bob. Roundly applauded by uh, Merv Neagle, who looks like he's going back on. And also by Tony Lockett, who looks like having another run. 16 12 to 8 9. Play with Victoria. Kevin Walsh. Send to the ground. Alvin tries to get it forward. 14 is Dermot Brereton, and he will get the kick for a push. It's all Victoria at the moment. Looks like Merritt coming off the ground, and he can be well served with his contribution. Roger Merritt, well played. It's Brereton's kick into the forward line. Opportunity for Brian Royal. Glendening underneath it. Craig Holden. Brad Hardy marks. One wonders where he's been for most of the game. He has played a brilliant first half. No 15 metre penalty. Finally there is one. Brad Hardy called a play on. Tripped. And will get another kick. Well, Dermot Brereton has not moved one metre. No, he hasn't. He's still where he was. The 15 metre penalty's gone by the board. It's Browning out in front. Can't mark. Richardson battling two or three of them. Madden uses his body well and puts Richardson down. This is Wayne Blackwell. 
a high kick into a very depleted Western Australian forward line. And the mark taken again by Ruse. Good shepherding enables him to get his kick away. Dermot Brereton brings the ball to ground. Mitchell closing. Brereton must be holding the ball. But Michael Mitchell certainly knows how to tackle. He's tried hard all day. Perhaps some of the bigger blokes could have taken a leap out of his book. Over he goes to Lester Smith. Fires it down towards half ball to Sewell. Well picked up by Blackwell. Daniels. Beasley's behind and gives the kick away to Gary Burt. Beasley can't play behind Gary Burt. Oh. Off he goes. Hurt to the half back line. Over the half back line. Up towards the centre square and kicks it to half forward. Holden, can't mark it, recovers well. Went from the Perth Swans to the Sydney Swans and doing well. Kicks it to Bacchanara. Over to Wiley. Oh, Wiley's kick has gone out of play. Well, that's a result of the sort of pressure that Victoria has been putting on WA all day. Wiley, that wouldn't have even been 10 metres. He should have hand-passed, but didn't. That kick, a long one from Tui. Should be all WA, and Perser takes the mark. Switches play, looking for Peak. Former teammates at East from Adel. Peak's got a near available. Number four, John Anir to Brad Hardy. Hardy gets the kick. Beasley out in front. One hand, not good enough. Side one of the battle. Can't do anything with it. Here come Victoria again through Perth. Brilliant at full back. Look at him go. And Perth, brilliant pass to Lockett. And that's as good a passage of football as you'd ever want to see. Excellent. Right from the back line of the forward line. And the St Kilda full forward coming out from the full back, Gary Pert, putting it on the chest of Lockett, who I said before has kicked 59 goals for St Kilda who are down the bottom. This is magnificent football from Victoria, I want to tell you. Lockett from the 50 metre line, directly in front. Kick looks good. Victoria have got number 17. Check this one out, guys. It's Chart Attack. 30 big ones. By the quality of Victoria's football. It's excellent. As Ania gets it down to the half forward line. Kick must go to WA. Cheers from the crowd. As Richardson puts it in. Not looking a chance for Wiley. Boots it towards Beasley. Into the pocket it goes, and the ball's gone out of play. So it's in WA's left full court pocket at the 18 and three quarter minute mark of the final quarter. Victoria are 17, 12, 114. Western Australia are 8, 9, 57. And it has been, as we've said on many occasions, absolutely champagne stuff by Victoria since quarter time. Beasley and Madden. I know who I'll back. Madden got the tap. And Daniels couldn't get the ball away. And nor could Gary Folds, number 10. 114 to 57. Beasley runs straight into uh, Madden. Folds goes for the boundary line. And Tim Watson happy to see it go there. Play Bob down a little bit in that left full forward pocket. Yep, for Western Australia. Desperately needing some sort of score. Madden thumps it away. The hand pass into the path of Alvin coming out with it is Blackwell tackled by Merv Neagle and the umpire is going to bounce on WA's 50 metre line and umpire Robertson 302 league names a very experienced umpire what's he going to give? he's going to give a kick to Victoria Everyone tonight, the federal mark of the day. It's the way to do it. Left centre wing, Solon. Davidson looking out to the half forward flank here for some drive, looking for Pavio Mitchell. Oh! Oh, mark! Oh, mark the century. Right. Right up towards Steve Goling in here.